and Justin are back with tips on making some furniture work a little harder. Indeed so we are, Tracy. Everything here is doing double duty. Exactly. Now, this particular sofa here, you know you buy yourself a sofa and you realize that so much of the structure of it is taken up in the mechanics of it. Yes. So there's a load of wasted space. Well, this is a really clever little unit because it's got everything you need in a little day bed, but it's got a really, really skinny frame. Mm -hmm. So underneath there's bags of space for book storage. And at the back as well, there's an extra little pocket area, which is good for storing boxes and crates and things. Nice. So it's really comfy, but it also serves an extra life as double duty. Streamlined. Mm -hmm. Streamlined. Really, really, exactly. Really exactly. Makes and you get small relatives tucked you in at the back as well, only. which is always a good thing. <laughs> um, okay, you know this what? So this is not something that you're not familiar with, you yes. know, just a coat stand. But the great thing about buying this for double duty is obviously you can move it from room to room. Right. So it's great in the cloakroom. You might want to move it into the mud room. Yeah. And then when you're having people, you know, home to yours and you're thinking, okay, where am I going to put all these coats? You could bring that out and create a little cloakroom in the hallway so that people can see where their coats are going, you know. So this is a great bargain buy that yes. you get so much from a piece like this. It looks great and it's a standalone. I it love is. that. So it's crucial if you're going to, you know, have ooh, ooh, exactly. ooh, ooh, parties Some at your house. Yeah, exactly. Right? Welcome back to Tracy's. Why not? <laughs> Tracy, we've got a couple of little examples here of things that can work in one zone but also in another. Okay. This is a summer table, okay, from the outdoors. There's no reason that when the weather changes and the mercury starts to go downwards, you don't have to store it outside. Bring it indoors and it's a great little occasional mm -hmm. table. This fella here from the same collection, it, well actually this is from the kitchen department, yeah. but we figured that it could work just as well in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we, we've basically jump it from room to room. These are kitchen storage boxes, but they're airtight, so they make great little solutions in the bathroom for your makeup pads and your wipes and all your kind of gorgeous bits and bobs. So yes. think in terms, what can you use it for? Which department did it come from? But how could you give it another life somewhere else? Absolutely. Right. I mean, you could have a white night party. You could. Yes. And turn it into a cocktail cabinet. I like the idea. Oh, that's the I think it would be really good. Well, portable. Well, do you think you could fit all your mascaras in there? Um, he well, takes a exactly, lot of makeup. Exactly. Exactly. These are actually, these are my lashes. I, I grow my Ashes in a pot, it's okay. <laughs> you should see his fake tan mountain as well. These boxes wouldn't even touch it. Wouldn't even touch it. Okay, what do we have going on over here? Okay, you know what? How many of us have small, tight hallways, little foyers that we don't yes. use for anything? And chances are, you know, the computer, what, it's sitting on the dining table, it's in the kitchen, it's in the bedroom, and we're all desperate to have a dedicated home office. Mm -hmm. I think this is a great small space solution. And this is actually a wall mounted table. So it folds down totally flat. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's not taking up a lot of passageway if you're in a tight hallway. Yeah. And these are bathroom cabinets. Again, they're ah. smaller, okay? So you can imagine you could have a chair tucked away somewhere else. When you want an office, you bring the table up, get the chair in there, and suddenly, you know, there's somewhere to actually store your computer, bits and bobs and stuff tastefully out of the way. And when you want to get rid of the function, you close the doors, you fold everything flat, it's tidy, out of sight, out of mind and you have a home office. I think when we're making all our stuff work hard for us and making our money yes. go further, Tracy, you've really got to look at ways of being really clever with your available spend and how you make it work for you. Work it. All a work lot it. of that is about going shopping out into the department that doesn't belong to that room. So if exactly. you're looking for the bathroom, go to the kitchen department. Yeah, exactly. You're looking for the kitchen, go to the bathroom exactly. department. Because what we find a lot in our bathrooms is you need any, ever, a lot of stuff to have not a lot of depth. Of course. So sure. if that's what you're looking for, put that out in your main area and you've got a really easy office. And I think a lot of people do want that designated space. Of course. Yeah. Of if you've got course. kids in school, they need a designated space so they can do their homework. Sure. That works. Yeah. And you want to keep an eye on them as well. You know, internet safety and stuff. So. Yeah. Yes. It's one of the first things we do when we're buying something for a room, we don't go to that department straight away. We go to another department, take inspiration from there, and then yeah. go to the place that we originally thought we should go and work it all together. Because these guys know how to save a buck, let me we tell you. They know how to make it prisoner. work, and they can save a buck.